Small aftershocks continue to rattle the Sierra this morning after this 6.0 quake in Mono County. It's near the community of Walker and it rocked the region yesterday afternoon. Now at this point, only minor damage has been reported, mostly to items just falling from shelves. These are photos from Twin Lakes Resort in Bridgeport where you see just that bottles of soy sauce, ketchup, other condiments falling from the store shelves here. All right, take a look at this video from Bridgeport. Those quakes and strong aftershocks sent huge boulders rolling onto Highway 395. You can see here some people trying to drive around the boulders. Well, the Highway Patrol shut down the road briefly while they made sure conditions were safe. Yeah, those boulders could have really caused some damage. Luckily, they didn't. Now, we spoke with the owner of the Colville Walker KOA Campground in Mono County, and he says it lasted about 10 seconds, he counted, long enough to get this video from his phone, the major dust up coming from the bluff behind the campground. Look at all that smoke, not smoke. It's dust from all the rocks that fell. People staying there. We caught up with them. They say it was really shocking. I've lived in California my whole life, so when I feel an earthquake, I'm just like, oh, here's yeah. an earthquake. Yep. It was all cool until I looked up and <laughs> when all that starts, starts coming down, that's when I was like, OK, no, 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 this is not good. We're actually in the pool. All the kids are hanging out and all of a sudden it comes crashing down. Get out of the pool. There's, you know, we had to be a little dramatic because get out of the pool. Let's go. <laughs> These are some of the best people to, to interview. They were, they were such characters. Yes, such a good, it's shocking to everyone. Such good descriptions too of what happened. The campground owner says nobody was hurt, thankfully. Nothing was destroyed here at the campground. They're all laughing about it now because nothing bad happened. And everyone's okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, KCRE 3's Brian Hickey is live in South Lake Tahoe where the shaking continues. People still uh, a little rattled there, Brian. I know there's a lot of uh, shocks overnight as well. Yeah, a lot of people certainly sharing their stories about where they were and what they felt, and some didn't feel it at all. Of course, it just depends on where you were. Uh, and so here in State Line, people still talking about early this morning as they were out on the town enjoying the evening. <laughs> and that was here on State Line early this morning. Some of those folks just getting off work and having a chance to unwind and tell their stories about the earthquake. Again, it was initially a 6.0, but since then there have been dozens of aftershocks, and many of them have been felt, uh, sometimes in swarms, by folks up here in the area. And of course, the big story up here this morning is the golf tournament, the celebrity golf tournament that's happening, but now the earthquake, the other big talker. I was just sitting on my computer um, and all of a sudden my screen started shaking back and forth. Um, I thought my house was about to sink. It just felt like my car, my car was like jolting back and forth, side to side, and it almost felt like 30 to 40 seconds. It woke me up in the middle of this morning. I got off at 5 o'clock in the morning working here, and I looked at him. My door was open. You know, I was like, what's happening? He's like, it's an earthquake. So, And I thought someone was just trying to break into my room. But then like, I woke up, and my roommate, the one that you interviewed before, he uh, he was like, dude, did you feel that? And I was like, what was that? And he's like, man, it was an earthquake. It had my whole room shaken. Yeah, I had my headboard rocking. It was, yeah, I haven't felt like that one. I haven't felt one like that up here ever. And fortunately, no reports of any damage up here either. The golf tournament scheduled to go on uh, without a hitch this morning.